Alrighty, here is the sped up version for those of you who wanted a quicker version of my videos. We're starting off with the Lydia May stencil. Alright, so this is from the Dot Art Depot. And you can find her on Etsy. And this is an 8 by inch matte black canvas, stretch canvas, to find the corners, find the corners and then find the center. I'm just going to use a piece of tape to hold my stencil down because I don't really have anything else to hold it down at this time. She suggested stick tack. So that'll hold my stencil in place. Now I'm using my etcher um, to just kind of scratch into the paint so that I don't have to erase any lines after. So my etcher, I just scratch the lines in using just the one side of the stencil. And there you go. So these will be our guidelines for this video. I also have acrylic rods and dotting styluses, the dotting tools. And then we're also going to use peam tar paint pens. This was the one that I previously created that sparked our dandelion idea. And a lot of people give me questions regarding color combos, so here's a great place. You can check them out. I have a board on Pinterest that is all color palettes. This is mine. Color palettes, yay! Alright, so you could reorient the stencil anywhere you wanted. I just centered it on this. So I'm going to start off with the largest acrylic rod. And it's just about three quarters of an inch in diameter. And do titanium white in the center. So we're going to be doing some of the arms in a darker color for contrast. And then every other one is going to be in the white. So we're going to start off using gunmetal. And I'm going to use the largest acrylic tool with the gunmetal multi surface metallic. I didn't like the dot. This is one of my first times using the acrylic rods, and it gets a big dot where it pulls up the paint, so I was trying to spread it out there. Also, if you guys have suggestions on that, if it's the paint consistency, like I said, I don't use these very often. I just thought it would be a great easy way to make the larger dots. So it's every other arm on the spiral. Alright, I'm going to move to the smaller one, which is exactly half an inch in diameter, sticking with the gunmetal. And I'm just following the hash lines on that arm of the spiral. Next I have the large dotting tool dotting stylus, which is about three millimeters. We're still sticking with the gunmetal. And I wanted it a little bigger than the tool makes, so I'm just pushing the paint around into a circle. You're basically just painting a circle. I didn't want it to go down in size too drastically there. So you could see when I dotted it, it was smaller. So four, four dots down. And you don't have to count, you can just graduate the size down as you go in towards the white center and then just follow the stencil line. Again, it's only every other line. And we're just having it go down in towards the white. Also, I just want to point out, I use so much paint, I overload it, so it does take a little bit longer to dry, but it also makes the 3D dots that people are looking for. You just overload your tool with a thicker paint, and they'll look 3D, but you can also do multiple layers. So 
I'm still using the large end to go down in with the smaller dots, but you can flip the tool around to get smaller dots as you work your way towards the center. I was just using less paint. So you can see there, I just flipped the tool around and you get the same size. Alright, so now it's going to take a bit to dry. That was the one I had done before. Now I'm switching to pearl using the smaller end. And we're going to do two dots at the bottom, starting in the center. And that's the Pearl Extreme Sheen. Okay, now I'm switching to the Titanium White and the 3 millimeter Dotting Stylus. And we're just putting a couple of white dots there above the two small pearl ones that we did following the hash marks up the stencils back to the half inch acrylic rod with the titanium white and again just following the stencil for each arm of the spiral Okay, now like I did the ovals on this, we're going to use pencil eraser toppers. Easy hack for ovals. Titanium white, dip the eraser. We'll do three above each of the white dots that we just made. There you go. Quick easy ovals. Okay, large acrylic rod again. Try to fill up the space over the ovals. Titanium white as well. Okay, now I'm switching to the metallic silver on the multi-surface. And we're going to start with some ovals above the large white dots that we just put down with the large acrylic rod. I'm actually going to overlap the ovals like I did on the previous design. So they're going to go over the gun metal. So you'll still see it behind it. But it's a lighter silver, so you'll be able to see it on the gun metal.
And you're just going all the way from one side on top of the arm to hit the other arm at the other side for the gunmetal. Need a little more paint because I use quite a bit. It makes it nice and thick and poofy. You can feel it. Really creates a more tactile design. The silver actually is really, really shiny still, the multi surface ones. So you can see it starts to overlap nicely and create this mandala shape. Alright, while that's drying, switch to the smallest dotting tool using Vanilla Shake. It's a multi-surface satin. Gives it a little bit of yellow off-white touch. Then we're just going to use that to delineate our spiral a little bit more. And we're only going down one side on top of the gunmetal arm. Just kind of want to accentuate the spiral a little bit because when you start getting the designs through the center, it starts to lose your focus of shape that it is a spiral in there. Alright, so on the other side, because I don't want to lose focus, I want to draw attention away from the fact that it's a spiral, we're going to use a darker pewter. It's the multi-surface satin as well. Same dotting tool, the smallest one. And you're starting just below where the ovals are and work your way down. And that way it doesn't kind of mess up where your eyes are looking. If we had both sides of these white, then it, I think it would just mess up the idea of a spiral of how it looked. Alright, so I just want to make sure they're dry. We're going to switch over to the pewter, or pearl rather. and do pearl on top of the silver. And the pearl is the extreme sheens. It's lighter metallic white. Really shiny. And this way too, you know, your our core of the dandelion flower is kind of that darker look but we're working our way out to where it's brighter and the little white seeds are and they fly off. We're putting these ovals in between the other ovals that we put down of silver. That's every other space. There you go, just tucking them in between. With the extreme sheens, just be 
wary about making sure you pull your tool straight up because sometimes there gets to be a string, like a strand of paint that's connected still to your tool and you don't want that to flap over on your piece. So now I am going to use champagne gold <clears throat> and put dots in between each of the ovals that we created just to kind of give it a little contrast color. So this extreme sheen gold with the three millimeter dotting tool and the dots are just going in between the ovals. This way too, it's kind of like the lower part of the seed. But like I said, the contrast is helpful against all the monochrome. Okay, now I'm using the Pintar pens yeah. to create some fringe, yay! So this is the silver paint pen and I'm just wispy kind of haphazardly and then gold over that silver. So I'm just kind of blending in the wisps here and the white will go over the top of those but it also brings the colors that we used in the piece out and I want the white to be kind of the fringiest longest fluffy part of the seed. So I'm trying to be careful not to just keep going over the same lines to make it look kind of wispy. Just off to the side and askew quite a bit on each other, every other one. Kind of look like eyelashes or cat whiskers, that type of idea.
All right, so I'm just going around with the half inch rod putting pearl paint on top dots as top dots over our large white. And there you go. We are done with our dandelion. I hope you enjoyed it. So I also want to give a special shout out to Lydia for the stencil. You can find her on Etsy at Dot Art Depot. I'll put the link down here for the stencil in the description. Thanks you guys. And here's my website where you can find all the links to the description in the description of the things I used in this video. Happy painting!